Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install too many items in Minecraft 1.15.1. Now, first of all, I do want to mention that this is technically called Roughly Enough Items. And the reason for that is because Too Many Items hasn't updated since like Minecraft 1.10. It has been a very, very long time since Too Many Items has updated. So Roughly Enough Items stepped up and basically has all of the same features as Too Many Items except in Minecraft 1.15.1. So you can do easy changing of the, you know, game mode and easy changing of like seeing what you can craft and there's tons of different settings and configurability and all sorts of cool stuff with it and we're going to be going over all that and I'm going to be showing you that in this video but first and most we do need to get it downloaded and installed and basically this is too many items for Minecraft 1.15.1 it's just under a different name. We do have a message from our sponsor first though and that sponsor is Apex Minecraft Hosting. You can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com on them. We'll be checking out play.breakdowncraft.com craft.com a little later but nevertheless we love them so much that we host our own server on them and you will love hosting your server on them as well so if you want to start a minecraft server for you and your friends to enjoy it can be a public server or it can just be a private server for you and your friends go check out apex minecraft hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex nevertheless let's go ahead and jump right on into this now the first thing you need to do is go to the second link down below in the description and that is going to take you here this is our in-depth tutorial on how to download and install too many items for Minecraft, and it's gonna go over everything here. But we're gonna be going over everything in this video, so when you're here, all you need to do is click on this yellow download button. However, if I do go too fast, you have any issues, that tutorial can help you out. Nevertheless, once you click on that yellow download button, it's going to take you off to roughly enough items download page here. Once you're here, you'll be able to see kind of what this can do. So this is a screenshot of it, as you can see. You can easily see how to craft items and what you know is required to craft an item by searching it and clicking on it over here. You can also have the settings tab, change your weather, change your game mode, and all of that can be done from right here in just the basically escape menu or not escape menu the e menu in minecraft where you can pull up your inventory so pretty cool stuff there but nevertheless let's go ahead and get this downloaded so what you want to do is come over here to the right hand sidebar scroll down and then you'll see 1.15 under recent files minecraft 1.15 under that you'll see fabric 1.15.x as you can see there is fabric there go ahead and click on that purple download button next to the latest fabric version for 1.15 when you click on that, the download will begin in a few seconds. And then once that download does begin, as you'll see, it'll begin in the bottom left down here. You will need to keep the file in the bottom left. Now it's safe to keep the file as long as it does say roughly enough items. As you can see, it says roughly enough items there. So we'll go ahead and good to save or keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left of your screen. Now on Mozilla Firefox, it's asking you to save the file on the share your screen. Again, 100% safe to save it as long as it says roughly enough items. Now there's two more things we need to download. The first is the Fabric API, which is, of course is linked in the description down below. And the Fabric API is basically a compatibility mod for roughly enough items and quite a few other mods that allow you to install them and run some different things on them with fabric so nevertheless here's this it is linked in the description down below when you're here come over to the right hand sidebar again scroll down until you see minecraft 1.15 and then under that you'll see the fabric api for 1.15.1 here click on that purple download button there and it will go ahead and take us off where your download will again begin in five seconds we will need to keep this in the bottom left it's 100 percent safe to keep it and so let's go ahead and let that download the waiting connecting there we go it downloaded i had to refresh Fresh the page, but it did download there. A little bit of a glitch on Curse Forge, but nevertheless, there is the Fabric API there. We can go ahead and click Keep to make sure that is good and kept on our computer. And then same thing in Mozilla Firefox, you'll need to save. Now there's one more thing we need to download and that of course is the Fabric Mod Loader itself. And you can find that link in the description down below. I've uh, lost what link number it is though, but it is in the description down below. Once you're here, you wanna click on installation for vanilla. See that? Click on that and then installer version, doesn't matter, just leave everything the same. And all you need to do is click on download installer universal slash dot jar here. When you click on that, it will download again in the bottom left where you'll need to keep the file. It's 100% safe to keep the file. Same thing. On Mozilla Firefox, you need to save it in the server screen and it is completely safe to do that. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser here. On our desktop, we have three things. We have roughly enough items. We have the Fabric API, which is a compatibility enough mod for roughly enough items. And then we have the Fabric installer here. So let's go ahead and um, get the Fabric installer installed because we need to install that before we can install the Fabric API and roughly enough items. So to do that, go ahead and right click on it, click on open with, and then click on Java T and platform SE binary and click okay. But what if you don't have Java T and platform SE binary? What do you do then? Well, you can simply go to the description down below and you will have this. This is our tutorial on downloading and installing Java for Minecraft mods. It goes over everything you need to know to get Java set up and running for your Minecraft mods. It has helped nearly 1 million people do that. So um, yeah, pretty in depth and pretty amazing tutorial there on how to do that. Then we also do have our tutorial on how to fix and repair jar files. If for whatever reason you install Java, 
you still can't open up the Fabric API, you can check out this tutorial here, which will tell you exactly how to use the .jar or the .jar fix to repair the .jar files on your PC, making all the .jar files work with Java on your computer once again. So yeah, there you go. Once you go through those, you'll finally be able to minimize your browser, right click on the Fabric installer, click on open with, click on Java TM platform SE binary, and click OK. That will then open up the Fabric installer here, where all we need to do is just make sure 1.15.1 is selected up here. If it's not, click on that and select it, and then go ahead and click install. Then it says done, and it's done. You have installed Fabric for Minecraft 1.15.1. Now we can go ahead and close out of the Fabric installer here and we can get roughly enough items in the fa Fabric API installed. To do that, all you want to do is click on the little Windows icon. For me, it is in the top left of my screen. For you, it is in the bottom left of your screen most likely, but it's going to be in either the top or bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon there. Click on that and then go ahead and type in run, R-U-N. You'll have this run application here. Click on that run application and then in here, you want to type in percent sign, A-P-P, D-A-T-A, percent sign. So percent app data percent exactly like that and hit enter when you do that it'll open up your roaming folder in here you'll have your dot minecraft folder and then you should have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder what do i do no worries don't freak out just right click create a new folder and then title that mods m-o-d-s exactly like that all lowercase go ahead and double click on your mods folder there and then you can drag and drop both the fabric api and roughly enough items into your mods folder once you've done that, we can go ahead and open up Minecraft itself and get things rocking and rolling to get Fabric up and running and specifically get too many items up and running. Now, once you're in here, you should be able to click in the bottom left down here and you should have a Fabric Loader 1.15.1. You have that? Click on it and click play. But if you don't, what do you do? No worries, just click on installations up here at the top. And then in here, you wanna click the plus new button right here, plus new. Once you click on that, you wanna go ahead and name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it though, play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible Minecraft server with two epic grief protected survival servers and a custom skyblock server. We have medieval survival with over 30 quests and of course, grief protected, awesome, fun survival and the player-based economy. And then we do have aquatic survival with this, which is also grief protected and a slash shop based economy so you have do different types of economies there depending on which one you like and then we also do have custom skyblock with op enchantments custom islands and just a ton and ton of custom and awesome stuff over there so come play this play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip nevertheless once you've got your name in there we want to click on the aversion drop down box here and then here you have release da fabric dash loader i should say and then in here you'll see 1.15.1 after it this might not be at the top you might have to scroll down to find it but in here we'll have fabric loader here go ahead and click on that and then i'm going to go ahead and change our resolution as well as up our ram you don't have to do that i just do it just in case however if you do have any issues with like you know fabric crashing or minecraft crashing during launch and stuff like that you do just need to come in here and upgrade your ram now let's go ahead and click create and then once we do that we can go ahead and click play on the new profile we created again it should say fabric dash loader and then 1.15.1 under the title or name of the you know profile that you created. Once we click that green play button though, it will now open up Minecraft 1.15.1 with the um, too many items mod installed just like that. Pretty simple and pretty easy. No issues whatsoever. Now on first launch up, it is going to take a while. There it is, right? It was like, what? What's happening? Is it launching? And yes, it is. It is launching. It's just going to take it a minute. And there you have it. It is launching right on up. It might freeze. It might glitch. It might do things like that but it is going to launch after a minute. Now, you might be asking, what if it doesn't launch? Because it's not gonna launch for me, right? It's not, if I click around here, Minecraft's gonna go to not responding, and it's gonna then just come up and say that it's crashed, and like, oh no, it's the end of the world, you've bricked your Minecraft. No, that's not what's happened. All you need to do is uh, close out of this, and then open it back up like nothing ever happened. You might be like, what? Yeah, just open up the Minecraft launcher, right? No Minecraft launcher. Select that profile that you created or that fabric loader profile, either one, and then just go ahead and click play. It'll then open up Minecraft perfectly fine. I don't know why that is. That is something that is so weird about Minecraft 1.15. And we actually saw it some with fabric on 1.14, but Minecraft 1.15, even vanilla, has had issues up. Once you start up, it's been fine for me, but it's had issues starting up and had all sorts of different freezes on startup. But as I said, all you needed to do was restart it and it would start right on up like there was never any problems whatsoever. We can also look down here in the bottom left and we will see that it's fabric and we're gonna join the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com here, so we can show off the awesome too many items mod. Now, on here we are gonna be limited just a bit. I'm not gonna be able to change the time and stuff because it is a server, obviously, but, 
I will still be able to show it off. So when we join in here, we can see Welcome to Breakdown Craft. This is our medieval survival server here. Absolutely awesome. We go ahead and hit E. I don't think there's any denying that too many items is in fact installed here. We can even come down here and click on all of this stuff. Even some of the uh, 1.14 blocks. I don't know if any blocks were added in 1.14 though. I mean, other than the beehive stuff. But if we add in those here, oh, what are we doing? There we go. B, yeah, there's the beehive stuff that is in 1.15. It is in here and you can see how to craft all of that. But um, yeah, there is that there. As you can see, you can open the config screen and just change all of this stuff. I mean, so much stuff can be changed here. It is overwhelming. And uh, you can even come in here and change like the weather commands, right? So you could do P weather, right? P weather. And then that is now going to allow us, if we come over here, to change the weather if we enable it, right? So there's all sorts of different stuff and just tons and tons of stuff. You could literally go through this forever, uh, enabling things and changing things and doing all that stuff. So yeah, it is, uh, it is a bit overwhelming, but that is that is okay, and that's what Too Many Items is all about. So, thank you all having. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I am out. Peace.